Is your toss going all over the place? Is it hard to get a consistent serve because you're constantly chasing your toss? Not to fear, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your toss once and for all in five minutes or less. Let's get started. Hey there, Ramon Osu with you here, and I know how frustrating it can be when you're trying to develop a consistent serve and your toss is just going all over the place. It makes it really hard to get consistent contact. And I know this struggle well because as a late starter, I had to learn this the hard way. Fortunately, I got a really cool technique I'm going to share with you that's going to help you bridge that gap, get a really consistent toss, as I said, in five minutes or less. So let's get started. But before we start tossing the ball, we need to know where we want it to go. So let's consider the flat serve for a second, because all the different serves will have a slightly different contact point and therefore a slightly different toss. But I've watched a ton of video on the best players in the world, and you can take my word for it that the contact point for the, for the flat serve is going to be at 1230 if you're a righty, slightly into the court at full extension. So that's what we're aiming for. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a target out of this extremely high-tech piece of equipment here. The next thing you're going to want to do is grab a ball. Now the ball hold is both extremely important and not that important. And what I mean is as long as you can produce the toss that you want, you can hold it however you want. The way that works best for me is I've got it resting on my ring finger, as you can see here, supporting it with my fingertips like this. But I've seen other variations that work for other people as well. One being kind of like the ice cream cone, or maybe just a couple fingers on the ball. This is the way that works best for me. I learned it years ago from a 70 year old master professional slash surfer who told really bad yet hilarious jokes uh, in class. And maybe that's why I have a kangaroo on the court. I don't really know. But the, but the point is we want the ball to come out of our hand with little to no spin. Now sure, some pros hit the ball with some spin, but that complicates things for you. I recommend shooting for as little spin as possible. And here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna take our stance like this, raise our arm to be about parallel to the ground, arms pretty straight, parallel to the ground, and just let go of the ball like this. That's all we're gonna do. Just open up the door and let the ball fall through just like that. The reason we're doing this is when we start bringing our tossing arm up, all we really wanna do is release the ball. We don't wanna fling it up there we're gonna let the momentum of our arm carry the ball up to our perfect height. All right, so you got a feel for that. All we're gonna do is just let go of the ball like that. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is employ a little technique I call inch by inch. And this is one of the most powerful ways to get your toss where you wanna go quickly. So we'll start our tossing arm about here and we're gonna raise the ball up to about our shoulder and just let the ball float out of our hand like this. And we're trying to see if it's landing in our circle. So there's really nothing to it. We're just letting the ball float out of our hands an inch or two and let it land in our circle. If you don't have one of these high-tech training devices, you can use another racket on the floor or just use your imagination. So that's easy. Now the next thing we wanna do is the same thing. Start our toss and let the ball float two to three inches out of our hand like this. Same deal. Nice, easy, relaxed hold on the ball, keeping the tossing arm pretty straight and just bring the tossing arm up and just let go of the ball. Let it float out of your hands a couple of inches just like this. So you see what we're doing? We're just letting the ball come out a little bit higher each time, inch by inch, making sure the trajectory of the ball is right so we get a straight toss. Now as your toss gets higher, let your tossing arm finish a little bit higher each time and feel where your release allows you to keep your toss on target. The goal is to gradually make our toss higher inch by inch until we get to the right height for us. Now, what is that right height? Well, it kind of depends on you, but I will say that it should definitely not be any lower than your maximum reach with your racket because you can't get leverage and you don't lose some power that way. But you also probably don't want it too high to the point where it's up towards the palm trees and it's fallen down 100 miles an hour. What really matters is that it, the toss that you make is in rhythm with the rest of your motion. And within that, just don't make it too high or too low. So now let's go a foot out of your hand like this. Okay, and then 13 inches, then 14 inches, and just keep inching your way up there until you're right around your favorite spot for your serve. The advantage of using this inch by inch technique is it starts with baby steps and it gives you a progression that gradually gets you more and more comfortable with your release 
while inching your toss up to your perfect spot. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you as I enjoy making every video for you. Now there's a lot more to the toss when we start talking about the coil and how the body moves during the toss that actually allows you to get effortless power on your serve. And this is something that I cover extensively in my two brand new courses, the Simple Serve 2.0 and the Serve Doctor. Now what's great about the Simple Serve 2.0 is it takes the most complicated yet important shot in the game and gives you a simple, proven step-by-step -step process to get you hitting powerful, consistent, and accurate serves in the least amount of time possible. And what's great about the Serve Doctor is it gives you a step-by-step -step process to troubleshoot any problems that you might be having with your serve. So if your serve's going into the net, I give you a five-step process that'll automatically get your serve going back right where you want it. So if you're interested in that, it hasn't been released yet, but I got a button down below that you can click on to hop on the early bird list where you'll be notified just before everybody else uh, when that goes on sale. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click the button down below. And if you do nothing else, use the inch by inch technique on your serve. It's gonna get your toss going in the perfect spot so you can crush those serves, win a bunch of free points, and make life great again. So go ahead and do that, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.